riding bicycles. I'm with Dov. I'm on holiday in the south. I came here for, for sun and warmth. It's not raining. It's not raining. So you might have noticed because I uploaded a Bike Fit Tuesdays video recently that I'm down in London or near London. We are currently just on the edge of the Surrey Hills heading to Dov's new headquarters. Is that what it's called? That's the centre of the universe, mate. Where he runs his wheel company, Parkour. We're going to get there and then I'm going to show you his bike because you've been banging on about it for ages. You clearly want a video made about it and it is very lovely. He's been moaning about it getting muddy though today. It's going to get muddy one day. Oh, nice. Sign on the door, it's official. I haven't got a sign. You should get one. Yeah, I will. This is great. Yeah, it's all right, this place. Um, we're going to outgrow it in about six months time. You reckon? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've already got poor old Sky like boxed in in a little corner over there. New person joining on week on Monday. Slowly growing the team, it's quite nice. The most important part um, is the uh, Eurosport slash Tour de France viewing area. Go on then, tell me about the bike. The bike? Um, yeah. This is very cool. It, is, it was a bit of a silly, well, it started off as a silly thing, so I was over in the States um, working and up near where Cane Creek's headquarters are and they do the EE brakes, like the super, super light um, CNC machined amazing rim brakes. They do a limited edition colorway every year. The year that I was there, they had this crazy kind of shell suit, like 1980s teal, purple, pink type effect. Really, really wanted some, so I bought them, came home and thought, now I need a bike to put them on. That was the point when we just got this office and just up the way are Spring Customs Windy Miller. So loads of really cool custom stuff coming out there. And I know Andy there quite well, so I said to him, look, I really want a new bike that I can put these on. So he got mega excited and carried away. And this was the outcome. Ended up with their Izuard RR road bike, steel custom geometry, like completely custom from the ground up um, bike. So you go up there, you do a nice long fit, um, they come away with the numbers and then I guess the biggest challenge after that was trying to figure out what to do with the paint job because you've got these crazy crazy brakes and you want them to stand out so I originally had these ideas of like bright colours, really garish and thank god he talked me back um, so the guys up at Gun Control did this amazing paint job which is like just the most nuts sort of gun metal grey um, beautiful, beautiful finish. And then we use the graphics and the logos to bring out the colors and the brakes. Had to get some custom wheels done as well, because what's the point in running a wheel business if you can't do that? <laughs> a set of our Persista wheels, so it's rim brake, so we're having to go, go classic with that. Vintage. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's quite nice though, because actually the Persista is the first wheel that we ever launched. So that is the, the OG. It's where it all started. Um, so it's nice to have a really cool set of those on there. So it's the mid-depth all-round wheel, um, super, super smooth, super fast. So we've got those rims, like I say, custom painted to match and then built up here by Sky the Wheel Builder. Everything else is basically, it's just dream bike territory. I thought, you know, this is, this is the one, this is the one I want to ride forever. So we've gone full SRAM Red Access Group set, got some Envy finishing kit, seat post stem bars, Stems custom painted to match, obviously, because why not? Chris King uh, headset and bottom bracket. I really, really like the Prologo saddles. Um, it just works for me. So I've got the dimension on there. Shout out to uh, Chris at Zero Lemon, because obviously we've got to get the water bottles in. And then, yeah, it's just the best bike I've ever ridden by now. What are you doing? It's playing with a laser. A laser pecker? Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's what happens when you get it off Kickstarter. So you can put the logo on the hub. It's a new thing that we're playing with um, to relaunch like the custom hub offering. So fairly soon, once we get all of the um, specs sorted and all the test runs done, you'll be able to basically put whatever you want on your hubs. So if you want to write your name, if you want to write your own logo, anything like that, then we'll be able to do it for you. What are you writing on it now? It's a good question. Whatever was the last thing that I did. I think, I think I'm just doing a logo. <laughs> Gotta be careful, if you get more stuff, you're gonna start, people, people are gonna start messing with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we've already had it where like, people have come in and been like, oh yeah, can you engrave this? Can you engrave that? I'm like, yeah, why not? Hmm. Like, just engrave everything. Once you've got a laser, now, once you got a laser, you can do anything. Put my camera in. I mean, you could try it. So yeah, you can see where we've been playing with it. <laughs> just get a few more parkour on there. Yeah. yeah. You didn't <laughs> use the safety glasses. They actually look pretty good. 
You're probably right in them. Sorry, Sun God. <laughs> I actually forgot my glasses this trip, so I apologise for that. You could wear those. Yeah. They look cool. And if a car they maybe look like ones you'd wear in a nightclub. But if a car drives past you with a laser on it, you'll also not go blind. A safety glasses. I've just been staring directly at the laser. Yeah. Oh. I purposefully went underneath it so I could see what was going on. Well, you just got free laser eye surgery. There's someone who builds some wheels here. Yeah, so Sky, our mechanic, um, is in here during the week. Um, so Sky will look after any custom builds, yeah. um, anything a little bit out of the ordinary, and then sort of warranties, repairs, um, crash replacements. So I'm pretty sure one of these is a crash replacement. So yeah, Sky's been with us since the summer, um, came on board as part of the Kickstart scheme, um, which is a really amazing scheme whereby the government supports employers to take on young people who are out of work. So she actually started um, with zero experience and frankly, she's now knocking out better wheels than I could manage. And yeah, this bit's pretty unique because we've actually got some stock. Um, which <laughs> nice. is, you know, there's not many people in the UK industry that can say that. If people want wheels, then we are probably one of the only places in the country that have some. That's why the security's so good here is because, you know, <laughs> people, knew, people know there's actually wheels there. Why are you standing there? It's a bit cold in here. Come on, let's go ride. Yeah, let's go. So cycling up a massive hill right now, thought it would be a perfect time to uh, make a little announcement. The reason I'm down here with Dov is to chat business stuff. Uh, from this point onwards, you will see parkour wheels as a little logo at the end of my videos, as Dov has come on as a sponsor of the channel. For viewers who don't know Dov, what's parkour wheels? <laughs> I set parkour up about five and a half, six years ago now, uh, with the idea of basically making aerodynamics accessible. So we design, manufacture, and import bike wheels. Um, and they're accessible in terms of both the price point, but also hopefully you'll see the way we talk about them. Stripping back some of the jargon, just being honest about stuff. It's making it relatable to you, as many riders as we can. So yeah, excited to have him on board. Hopefully it'll uh, make you faster. Yeah. I'll need that. Am I going to end up riding with some of your existing ambassadors who all happen to be professional triathletes? Because I'm going to need some real fast wheels. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Get you out riding with the pros. Uh, get you out running with the pros. I hear you've been taking some of that up lately. Yeah, I've done one run. Can you swim? Badly. Oh, there you go. I was actually a lifeguard once. Uh, we've had plenty of good feedback from him already. You know, we've had, how long have you been riding, riding our wheels for now? So I rode them across Australia. And I've been riding them basically since then. So what was that? Two and a half years ago? It's such a bad choice doing that up this hill. Yeah. Basically, link in the description if you want to check out Dov's website. So that concludes a pretty busy weekend of filming one million episodes of Bike Fit Tuesdays and seeing Dov. I hope you enjoyed that little bit about parkours and his very cool bike. Dov is very modest. He actually does all of his aero testing himself as he is a qualified engineer uh, with a background in aerospace engineering. So all of his wheels are incredibly fast and hopefully we can do some visiting to a wind tunnel in the future with him and show some of the process that he goes through in making his products. Thank you guys always for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Coming up this week, there will be some Bike Fit Tuesdays, but also finally the bike announcement. If my group set turns up. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon.